tragedy Lost in the drought of nightfall Running in search of the remedy Trying to find her place When the shift down, roll out, let me feel some. I just wanna feel some. Fall through, let me feel some. Weak spot for the brown eyes, and the low lights glowing on you. What you want, I'm outside. Spin the block on the downtown. I'll be down on the fold on me. I'm him to the gravestone. Church say six, I'm a ghost son. God damn it, huh? Well, bless your heart. Hey, go on, protect that line. Sit down, I'ma hold that line. This is your first time here, my name is Maya. So y'all, we are headed to church. It's Sunday morning. I just woke up. I did skip my skincare, but y'all saw me wake up and take a shower and everything like that. So um, I did Heatless Curls last night, y'all. And if you watched last week's vlog or if you follow me on TikTok, you saw me struggling with the um, Heatless Curl. And so I tried to do a better technique, but I'm still concerned that it didn't work out this time. It stayed in place better. <laughs> I was told after the first time I did it that you're supposed to leave the clamp at the top and I had tied down my edges. So I was like, this was probably the perfect way to keep the clamp at the top. So um, we're gonna look at this together and see what it turned out to be. Um, I had to do my makeup this morning, so I wanna give it some time to fall. But yeah, I feel like we're probably gonna have a better result this time, sis. Let's see. I do have all my heat tools though, because I know I was gonna have some issues like this right here. Like I knew it and my hair is tied. So I know I was gonna have to do flattening something. So learning curve child, learning curve. Um, I am gonna buy some flexi rods on Amazon. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, girl. Okay, ignore this. I'm about to go ahead and flat iron this down because this looks crazy. This one, this right here is my fault because it was being curled over my um, my scarf. But I'm still trying to put minimal, minimal heat on it. Like my flat iron is on 400. Usually I'll take it up to like 450. So I'm trying to do better about that. But on this side, girl, it's almost perfect. I'm doing better. Now I have to figure out how to tie my edges down and be able to get the curl that I want, you know? Anyway, child, yesterday was frustrating, y'all, because I cleaned my whole house top to bottom. And girl, if you watched last week's vlog, you know I got my nails done, but they didn't take them all the way off. They filed off the color and then gave me, you know, better nails. But I think it made them weaker. Girl, I broke two nails while I was cleaning yesterday. It was super frustrating because these, um, what are these called? The Gel X, the A-Press Gel X, they never break on me, ever. So I figured that was the reason though. And I was cleaning rather aggressively, so I can't even really blame it completely on the nail because yesterday I was like on turbo mode. So I was moving really, really fast. I was gonna watch church on TV today, only because y'all, I did not sleep last night. I had a long day yesterday cleaning. I worked out. I spent some time with Amira, took her shopping. Um, and then I came home and cleaned for like three hours. But girl, last night I went to bed because obviously I had to edit the beauty maintenance vlog. But I went to bed at 11 30 and I could not fall asleep. I had a headache. I don't know what was going on. I couldn't fall asleep. And then I told Amira to ask her to bring me some medicine. I said, if I'm not asleep at 12.30, I am gonna get up and edit. Guess who was awake at 12.30? I gave it like 30 more minutes, but I still was awake. So I got up, I went downstairs, I edited from 12.30 to 7 a.m. <laughs> and I finished the vlog, uploaded it, did all my linking. The only thing I don't have right now is my thumbnail. So. It is currently 10.54, so I just got up right before I took my shower. So my alarm was set for 10.30. So girl, girl, I'm so tired. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go to church. I wanna make it because my pastor is starting a new series and I wanna be there for that. I'm gonna meet Yannick at church. 
Um, my hair's going, obviously, because she's home with me this weekend. Then we're going to come home and more than likely do nothing. I have some meal preps ready to go. So I'm not concerned about doing that today. I cleaned my house yesterday. So it can actually be a chill Sunday for me. And I'm actually really excited about that. So let's go. I'm, I'm chit-chatting. Let's go do our makeup. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my henna brow went away so fast. Like it's pretty much gone. I thought that I did all the right things, but girl, it said, girl, where was you supposed to keep some henna brow? Because it went away almost immediately. And I said last week, maybe I just have the wrong skin type for it. That's possible. But now I'm like, they faded so much that I feel like I can just go ahead and get nanoblading. You know, I could just go ahead and get my microblading like this week. <laughs> but this week, um, my mom will be here on Thursday because one of my best friends, Devin from St. Louis, it's her birthday weekend. So girl, we have a group trip, not just a girl's trip. It is us girls, but also her fiance and his friends. Um, we are going to Denver, Colorado for the weekend. So my mom is coming in to be here with Amira and with Dior. Excited, very, very excited for that trip. If you've been watching me for a while, two years back, like right before I moved to Atlanta, like January, 2021, we went on a cabin trip. So it's pretty much that same group of people. And we have been wanting to plan another cabin trip. Um, so this is kind of that, even though we're not really like staying in a cabin <laughs> this time. We're keeping it light today, y'all. I'm going into my Danessa Myricks um, Yummy Skin. This is my go-to to blur my skin out. But yeah, it's been a while since we did a cabin trip um, or a group trip in general. So this one was for my girl's birthday. So I'm like, yeah, girl, we in there. I'm mad though, because I'm like one of the only people who is coming from a different city than St. Louis. Everybody's gonna be on the same flight. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna miss out on airport drinks and <laughs> all the fun on the way, but it's okay. It is okay, girl. I was tempted to fly to St. Louis and then fly with them there, <laughs> but it really was not that serious. Or was it? I just feel like it kind of was that serious, but it's cool. Yes, ma'am. What's up? How them eyes doing? Y'all, Mira's been suffering from allergies. They've been really bothering her. They doing okay this morning? They were good, like, the past two days. Have you been trying not to um, rub them? Yeah, I will take her out, cut her up some food, put her back in there. Mm -hmm. um, when I'm getting dressed, I'll let her be in the room with me so that she can run, out, run around a little bit before we go to church. I'm going to actually use my soft matte concealer from NARS this morning, y'all. Um, this is in the pot, and this is what I use to sculpt my brows underneath every time. Um, I love that this gives like a very soft look. When I have some time, y'all, I'm gonna experiment. I said this last week, I wanna start doing like some more skin-like looks. And knowing me, y'all, I gotta practice it. Not only practice it to get the technique down, but also practice it to practice seeing myself like that because y'all know I got that bad. But the more I do it and get used to it, I think I will be okay. We are gonna stick to not doing a whole lot today, y'all. I am going to probably throw a blush on over this and a little bit of bronzer and that's gonna be it. So we won't do like a stick and all that today. So I'm gonna skip cream bronzer. I'm just gonna keep it with um, powder. You just scared the heck out of me. I looked on here and I said, oh my God, is that a person in the door? She pooped in the thing. We've been trying our best to keep her garment dry that she just had surgery. Um, let's take this off for the baby. I'm gonna wash it real quick. I know, she hates this sound. It's okay, Dior. It looks good. It's, it's really healing, she's doing so good. Okay, so this makeup is pretty much done, y'all. This is pretty much it. I'm gonna throw mascara on real quick. Blend out this nose contour. And we're done. So I'm gonna see you guys um, in the room when we get dressed, um, once I determine what it is that I'm gonna wear to church. Just text, I know it's a toss oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such a The Uber pulling up on call. Tell me as you trying to fall through I'ma leave it up to you 
what you wanna do Look, like I'm tryna spend this time with you Know we all for do what you're doing right now, right now. Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day Okay, y'all, so I am so rushing out of the house <laughs> Church starts at 1.15 and it is 12.24 But anyway, child, this is the outfit Top is from H&M The pants are Aritzia The shoes I got from Just Fab um, I didn't really show them to you guys Hold up These are the shoes um, just basic and they're low heel so they're comfortable earrings i just got from nordstrom rack they're from a brand called natasha i think yeah natasha earrings the cuff is from h&m and belt is from zara so i am about to put on a fragrance i'm gonna go into melrose place by way this has like a pink tone to it i don't know why you can't see it on camera but thank you so much to way for sponsoring today's video i love love their scents because i feel like they're super soft and feminine scents that are perfect for every day you know it's not too much it's not too little it's just it's just right i have three of their fragrances this is one of my favorite ones though i've been wearing them a lot more often to see which ones i like the most and girl Meryl's place is that girl but one thing i love about way is that their scents are not only in their fragrances but they put a very soft and feminine scent into their hair products too so you could be smelling good in the body in the hair you know what i'm saying and now that we got some new hair we need her to be smelling good <laughs> i told you guys that um i'm already already flaking up which is crazy so i have already had to wash this up in my hair i ignored everything else but the part that shows i've already had to wash it because i wanted to continue to look fresh so prior to that y'all i had a lot of frizz because y'all know i'm relaxed and i had so much just frizz in my hair at the top and i had to keep using like a wax stick to lay it down but i did use way's anti-frizz cream this is their anti-frizz cream and i used this after i washed the top of my hair um i did all of this yesterday i had a really long day but child my head was itching that's why i don't know if i'm gonna make it not oiling my scalp <laughs> with these tape ends because if they slide child i don't want that to happen but i also don't want to die from itching but anyway after i washed my hair i put that on so that it was less frizzy and afterwards y'all it was so much less frizzy after i like flat ironed it and everything and i was really really happy with the results they also have a detox shampoo that i absolutely love as well as a hair oil which i can't use right now <laughs> Because it's actually one of my favorite hair oils. But anyway, y'all, I don't want y'all out here looking frizzy either. So make sure you frizz free up your schedule with Way. Go to T H E O U A I dot com slash Maya Galore for 15% off of any product, fragrance, hair, girl, you name it. That's T H E O U A I dot com slash Maya Galore. So y'all, let's get up out of here. We gotta go. It's 12 30 on the dot. And girl, if you ever been to change in Atlanta, you know it gets popping up in there everybody and their mama go to that church and for good reason it's an amazing amazing service the pastor is dope always brings the word is always in alignment with what i'm going through and he's starting a new series today called red flags the way he described it at easter sunday last week i was like i need to be in the building i'm exhausted right now i'm actually about to take some advil really quick so I'm not feeling horrible. And we are gonna go ahead and get up out of here. I actually think I'm gonna vlog church today. I'm not gonna take my camera, of course, but yeah, I don't think I've ever taken you guys to church with me. So let's do it. upstairs i'm gonna take my makeup off i'm gonna get comfortable and we are about to be on this couch she's so excited to see her mommy oh she's stretching hey girl she was asleep hi baby you barely ate your you didn't eat your food at all actually so yeah y'all yeah she just woke up she definitely gotta go to the potty Usually this is the day for me to do like my meal prep and all of the things. I should have took a better photo with this. I think, no, 
I don't need a photo. Girl, I've been getting so much content lately. It is not even funny. So I do not need <laughs> a photo. I did post a TikTok of this um, outfit this morning. So that's content. I got some content with the outfit. It's all that matters. It's fine. Y'all, that service today was for me, okay? It was for me. I see why that church has so many members, not even just that come there, but also that attend like online because girl, he be bringing the word. And I'm telling you every single time I go, it is always what I need to hear. It's reflection of my life or something I'm going through or something I'm struggling with. There's something that God has already told me. So some kind of confirmation, always. Me and Nika, Ebony, we be like, looking at each other. Like, girl, this is, that was a word. And today was nothing different. I will, in the description box, put a link to where you guys can check out the sermons because everything is online as well for change. So I am not about to try to wash my face with um, this green top on. So let me go change real quick. All right, so I just threw on this little white um, t-shirt. It is really crazy to me how that henna <laughs> disappeared for me. Um, I'm using my Key So Care. Hold up, I'll show it to y'all in a minute, y'all. I am itching to get on the couch. Yeah, I use my Key So Care Golden Cleanser. Y'all, this is finna be emptied out. I don't know if you can see how much is in there, but girl, it's gone. <laughs> I love, I love that cleanser. I got it in PR and I will most definitely be purchasing it after that's gone because it is so deliciously good and it, it's a really really good cleanser Yo, my brows are gone <laughs> that's crazy bro here i am thinking that was gonna rise me when i went to colorado this weekend girl not at all it didn't last no time i'm gonna straighten up in my bathroom real quick because i just thoroughly cleaned it yesterday and then we're gonna go downstairs get some food going so y'all i haven't eaten today yet and I told you guys I didn't really sleep um I didn't sleep at all I only slept for three hours this morning but I was just talking to, to Amir about this in the car is that I feel like my body has not really reset since um yesterday you know how your body resets when you sleep and it's like okay now you can eat more food I kind of feel like I'm still kicking off of the food from yesterday since I barely slept so I want to eat super light today um, back when I was successful with my health uh, goals and, you know, losing weight and everything like that, I would try to do things to tweak it based on my circumstances. So, like, if I had a huge, you know, cheat meal or, like, something, I would make sure that I ate, you know, less carbs or something the next day just to try to, like, balance it out. So, like, Friday when I went out with my girlfriends and I had a burger. I knew I was going to go out and probably eat something that was not part of the plan. So I made sure that day that I stayed on my meal plan because I knew I was going to do something. So today I'm like, maybe I should just like not do any carbs or something because I just feel like um, I am still kicking off of yesterday's food. And I don't want to end up like eating too much, you know? I don't know if that's making sense, but it makes sense to me. Strawberries? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, y'all, I'm just making myself some eggs and probably some, um, probably some spinach as well. Because, like I just said, I want to keep it light and I'll probably eat some fruit or something with it too. See y'all work. You're going to be a good baby. No. <laughs> she is a good baby. Don't tell her that. Dior is a well-behaved young lady. She's a, a great Christian girl. Why are you eating my food, bruh? I look good. I look good. Amira. Amira's always eating my food, bruh. That's why I'm making you your own food. You just like Dior. Dior always want our food, and you always want mine. Dior, you want? Dior, you want? Dior? Amir, what are we about to watch? Or are we not paying attention, just throw the office on? Yeah. Okay. That sounds like a plan to me. I'm going to respond to some comments. Because you're about to go to sleep. sleep anyway. This is true. I'm exhausted. Ah! Oh! Mom. What? She just tried to yawn and then bit me while her mouth was open. What? All right, y'all, so we're about to chill out. Apparently, we're about to turn the office on, or I'm sure, like, Marvel or something in the background. Usually, that's what we do when we technically know we're not about to be looking at it. I mean, it's probably going to be in our phone, and I'm going to probably be responding to some comments and going to sleep. I'm probably not going to see y'all for the rest of the night because your girl is exhausted. I'm very tired. 
and I really do not like not getting all my sleep. I'm surprised I'm not more cranky. It must be the Lord. It's got to be because I am exhausted. And if I say that again, I'm sure y'all are getting tired of me saying it. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign off. And more than likely, I will see you guys in the morning. You need to stop. Bye, girl. If only you could see me now If only you could tell me why You disappeared, you made me cry So don't come back, oh You never took the time to say You didn't think you should explain to my run real quick i was able to do a little bit of a workout but um girl dior interrupted me because she peed all over my workout mat so i had to handle that and then i came down to see amira out to school so now we are about to head to our run real quick i'm gonna just run in my neighborhood um i was thinking about going to the park and i think i'm just gonna keep it in the neighborhood usually i'll do an outdoor walk workout instead of like a run just because i know that i'll be walking a little bit because i go between walking and running and sprinting so um i feel like when i'm on a run it miscalculates you know my walking time so anyway y'all that's what i'm about to do and then um i'll catch up with you guys when we get back home for my run we're doing good <laughs> Hi, right, y'all. We're back. Hoo cha. Tired. We did. Hoo cha. Thirty minutes. Whew, two miles. A little bit over two miles, and two hundred ninety-seven calories. I feel like I've had it higher than that before. I think because I think I took too many walking breaks this time. But um, I'm gonna show you guys what the hair looks like after we worked out. Um, but for now, I usually like to calm down. I'm gonna take this hoodie off and make myself some breakfast. Um, and then I'll shower once I stop sweating. Cause I feel like when I sweat immediately after I work, I feel like when I sweat immediately, uh, I feel like when I sweat immediate, Maya, I'm trying to start calming down. I operate with a lot of anxiety. So I'm trying to reel that in. So I gotta catch it in the moment. I'm trying to calm down before I start showering because if I'm still sweating and I hop in the shower it just makes it worse and then like I'm still sweating afterwards and I need another shower so I wait so that I can calm down um and stop sweating so that I can take a full shower and it counts so I'm about to go and um make myself some breakfast and I'll see y'all upstairs so I can show you guys what the hair looks like after our shower all right y'all so I'm about to take this um headband off we just got out of the shower let's see how we're looking Whew, freedom this right here is why i relax my hair <laughs> now i do have a little bit of um you know you can see my hair kind of like right here but as far as the edges are concerned this is doable like i don't really need to do anything to my hair if i'm just having a regular casual day no heat oh, look, it's a little bright in here. yeah i really don't really need to do anything to my hair at all i could just leave it just like this and go around my day knowing me i would like gel it down like gel down my edges just so they can be a little bit straighter but they really don't need much else like not really if i just tie it down and let it dry i would be totally fine so I'm happy. I'm very happy with that. I'm, I'm happy that I don't have to put so much effort into it and that I don't have to put heat on my hair in particular. So I'm about to do a little bit of a makeup look. Um, I'm gonna film it probably for short form now and I'll get back with you guys once we figure out what to wear so we can get up out of here. Got myself inside all this tension. A feeling I never was expecting I don't see the pros, don't know the cons, forget the whys Do you know why? Triggered inside this situation Wonder if we maybe were mistaken Alright y'all, so we are all dressed, we're about to get up out of here um, I'm just doing lip gloss today. This is my NYX butter gloss and uh, sugar glass is what it's called. All right, y'all. So the outfit. Let's check it out. 
The bodysuit is from Express, and this cardigan as well as the shorts are from H&M. Um, I am wearing my Hermes sandals today, and then I'm gonna um, crossbody my Coach Tabby 26. Obviously, I've been wearing a lot more color, and here's my thing about color, y'all. I am a neutral girl, and I love wearing neutrals because I feel like you can really like mix and match a lot easier. To me, it reads more classy and just sophisticated in general, right? But I've been wanting to experiment with colors. Obviously, ever since I got my hair done, so I'm like, girl, let's get this look together, okay? I'm experimenting with color because I'm like, okay, if I do add color to my wardrobe, I want it to still read classy, chic, sophisticated, how I feel like I have curated my style to be. So I've been trying to figure out how do I add in color without me coming off as the quirky girl or the fun girl, because I feel like those are different aesthetics. That's not my wardrobe aesthetic. So I want to figure out how to incorporate the color into my aesthetic to keep my aesthetic. Does that make any sense? So for me, like for example, these green shorts are more like, first of all, they're linen. So I think the material of them adds to, you know, what I'm trying to do in my style. But then also I like the fact that this is more of a washed out green. Number one, that's great for spring, but also I think it fits the vibe. Also because I paired it with like this kind of cardigan that is very much like me, my style. It kind of just adds to it, you know, adds like an unexpected flair to the vibe, you know? Love it. Um, I feel like it also matters what I pair with the color too, that will help it to blend seamlessly with um, my personal style. So anyway, girl, I'm about to unhook y'all from here. We need to go and get the uh, stand. Our first stop today is the nail shop because we need to get these nails fixed. Um, we're going to Denver this weekend and girl, we need to be looking cute for my friend's birthday. If you watched last week's vlog, which was a beauty maintenance vlog, towards the end, I talked about how I haven't done certain things for myself regularly as a habit because I've been kind of, I would say it's kind of like a fear of spending money because I grew up not having a whole lot. And now that, you know, I have my own daughter too, I don't want her to experience that. So sometimes I hoard money more than I need to, way, way more. Like if y'all knew the numbers, you'd be like, Maya, you're kidding me. It's that bad. I'm fighting against that fear because it's really fear that's holding me back. I know God has blessed me. I've been consistent and my money has been steady for the last three years since I've been full time. Like I don't have no reason to have be stuck on that. I say all that to say, we're gonna go and spruce up the wardrobe today. I wanna go to the mall, come go by a few of my favorite stores and just pick up some new stuff, just browse and see what we can find. Um, no pressure, but I just wanna, you know, treat myself <laughs> and fight against that stronghold that's on me. So let's get out of here. First thing on the agenda is nails. I need to get two nails prepared. Okay. I just got them, they're broken. Okay, did you get them done now? Hmm. Did you get them done now? I did, um, Amy. Is she here, sir? No, she's, she's not, not here. here. for my sis who just fixed my nails or who just replaced two of my nails. A for effort. They don't look horrible. You can see the difference though, is these two middle nails. So look at these two middle nails and then look at those two. The color is a little bit different, but without this lighting, you can't really tell. You can see right here, but you know, you can't really tell like in general. Um, it's also the shape of it, you know, of the white tip that's not perfect, but whatever, right? She did her best and I figured, I knew coming here, maybe Amy who did my nails was not gonna be here. So I was like, this might be some stuff. And I talked about this on Instagram, but I don't know if I've ever shared this with you guys. I could have, I don't know. But I noticed about myself with everything I just went through that I have an issue with speaking up for myself when it's gonna shake the table. Um, I, I have, I mentioned that with y'all. So I allow other people to be happy and say what they want to say and I just kind of 
I used to suppress like what I want and then as a result of that I'll be mad afterwards because if it has to do with me I'm the one suffering through it because I didn't say nothing so that they'll be happy I noticed that I did this a lot with my nails if you guys have watched me for years back when I lived in St. Louis I always used to hate my nails because I realized recently I would allow these nail techs to do what they want to do they would be like oh well it's not gonna look good that way let me do it like this or no you don't really want that I'm gonna do it like this and I would be like or they give excuses oh I don't really know how to do that this is the best that I can do and I would just be like oh okay that's fine and then end up hating my nails when I left so today the way this lady was acting when she was doing my nails multiple times it hit me I was like this is this is why I used to be so scared to shake the table because of how she's like is with what she's saying like I noticed it this time at the first at first she was like okay I'm gonna try my best I think I can replicate that or whatever if you feel like you can't replicate it don't say that and don't do it number one okay number two as we're doing the nails she found the, the color for the nail bed the closest that she said she had because the other color that the nail tech that did mine it was her personal color in her kit so she found the color whatever was doing that and then she started on the white tip she did it and she tried to really quickly put my hand into the led light i think because she knew the shape wasn't up to par or wasn't exact so afterwards I, she tried to grab my hand real fast too when i pulled out but i kind of pulled away so that i can look at it and i looked at it for a moment and i was like because this is a moment where before i would have been like you know not even get it give it a big deal i know i don't like it but i would have let her finish and then been mad later but i was like do you see the difference of the shapes? <laughs> I'm like, do you see the difference of the shapes? They're vastly different. Can you try to replicate it a little bit more? The thing is, she didn't even try to replicate it. She just did it how she wanted to do it or how she naturally does it. And she said, well, all of us do it differently. We all do the deep French tip a whole, like, differently. So, but she was like, but I'm going to try. This one's a little off, but this one she got almost exactly. And my thing is, you didn't even try to replicate it. And in the past, I would have just let that go and been mad that two nails look completely different than the other ones when she wasn't even going to give the effort to do what I wanted. My thing is, and I'm grateful they didn't charge me for this just because it's been only a few days, so I'm happy for that. But still, regardless of the fact that I didn't have to pay for it it does not minimize the fact that I'm getting a service done that's for me I should be able to have it the way I want it and if you can't do it be honest don't just expect me or us to accept whatever it is you got to throw out there try don't just do what you want or say you can't do it so that I can actually get what I want and what I'm paying for. Anyway, child, she was very defensive and kind of was just like, you know, everyone does it differently. And this deep, deep French is really hard. So I'm going to try my best. Let me just try after the fact. And it was just, I don't know, just the way she said it in her own demeanor with it. It was just like, but I, this is, these are my nails. And... I walked in here you knew it was a situation where you have to do where you're trying to duplicate and replicate what's already there so why are you just doing it the way you want to do it and I'm supposed to just be happy with that I don't know I could be tripping y'all but I it was just the attitude with it and in the past I know I would have been like you know just not said anything I'd be like it's cool and then I wouldn't would have left and been mad and hated my nails because I've been like bruh there's she could have done better so I'm so grateful that that's a lesson that I've learned and now I can pick up on things that I used to miss before now I'm I'm gonna say something and I was ready for it to turn into an argument because I was 10 toes down baby what what you what you got to say and <laughs> like I was gonna stand on what I was saying and before y'all I would just just walk out and be mad and I'm just so grateful that that's not me anymore yes we're talking about nails but I realized that I did this in so many areas of my life girl who finna live like that have other people be so happy so happy they're bliss walking around happy 
smiling, enjoying their life, and you're just upset and sad and irritated and miserable, but had you actually said what you wanted to say, say what you mean and mean what you say, you could have gotten some happiness out of that too. So, sis, if you had a problem, girl, speak up for yourself. Whether it's nails, whether it's with a man, whether it's at work, whether it's with your friends, what you have to say matters. It matters because at the end of the day, we can't just be diminishing what we want and need for the happiness of others because we want them to be comfortable and we don't want to shake the table. No, baby, shake that table. Shake it. Shake the table. Because <laughs> when we try not to shake the table, that is the recipe for a miserable, miserable life. And baby, never, never again. All right, y'all. So I think I'm going to go. What am I about to do? I'm going to go home and eat. It's 2.06. I'm going to go home and eat. And I'm going to wait for my baby to get home. And then I might bring her outside. Um, it's going to be nice this evening. Bring her out here. Go to the mall. Hang out with her. Buy up the place. And <laughs> maybe take her to dinner or something like that. I think that's what I want to do. So. All right, y'all. Oh, my earbuds. That's crazy. Can you give me that, please? No. It's fine. All right, y'all. It's later on. I got my little road dog with me. Say what's up, girl. And we are about to uh, go inside Linux. So I will pull my camera out if we find anything in the dressing room or whatever. If not, then I'm going to see y'all later. So we started off at Aritzia, my favorite store. And we found a couple of things. So let's see what we got. So I found this cardigan. And this was perfect for my capsule wardrobe video. Um, I had a whole list of things that I wanted to get. And this stood out to me immediately when I walked into the store. So this was a must have. Next, I found this black crop top, which I thought was really, really cute. And I think it was something I could wear um, on my trip this weekend. Then I found this gorgeous dress. Now, I would need a strapless bra. I hate strapless bras, but I can do that for this dress. This dress was so sexy and so cute. And the split wasn't too, too, too crazy high. I felt like it was very sexy. So that's everything we got from Aritzia. Now we are in Zara. I got three items and the first one that I tried on was this pink dress and girl, I love this one me. I wish the bottom was a little bit more ruched, like there's ruching on the side, like where my waist is, but it's still very cute. This black dress Yannick told me about and I wanted to try it on, but y'all, though I liked how it looked, I felt like it was a little tight in the breast area and I was not crazy about it, so I did not get it. The other skirt, I couldn't even fit y'all, so that's what we got from Zara. Good morning, y'all. We are about to try to look alive. Child, we about to try to look alive because we're not looking alive right now. We have the baby with us. Say hi, Dior. Say hello. Mm -hmm. um, she's in here hanging out with me. While I do some really quick makeup, I don't want to do too, too much. I just want to look alive, like I said. No, 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 Dior. Yeah, y'all. I am so tired right now. I'm about to use my Bobbi Brown uh, Vitamin Enrich Face Base. I love this one because it's... um a moisturizer and a primer child. We need that this morning. But yeah, y'all, I am so exhausted because I was up all night until almost 4 a.m. editing the um, capsule wardrobe video. And I spent pretty much all day yesterday filming that video. So it has been a very, very long, long couple days for me. And today I have some errands that I need to run. But I also just kind of want to take it easy today. And I figure, you know, I might as well take you guys along with me. Um, today, I would like to go and get my feet done. My toenails are way too long. And I'm going to Devin's birthday trip in a few days. In a couple days. Oh, I'll leave on Friday. It's the Wednesday. So, yeah. I need to get that handled because it's looking kind of crazy. Um, but prior to that, y'all, we need to go get some food. Um, I, I was gonna just make my regular food here, but I'm actually really proud <laughs> of the week and last couple weeks that I've had. So I'm gonna take myself to eat, probably a just brunch breakfast bar, but I'm gonna keep it healthy. Um, I just kind of want something different than what I've already been eating. So I was like, I might as well go and take myself out and not work. It's really hard for me not to work. Um, I would love to go and just not even like edit or anything like that. And sometimes even scrolling social media to me reads work. <laughs> so maybe TikTok. 
usually when I scroll TikTok, I'll be cool. Instagram feels like work though. We just got a um, package from Fashion Nova. I told you guys in the last vlog that they kind of had me in a chokehold right now because one of my girls that I went out with a few weeks ago had on this beautiful green dress from Fashion Nova and that got me like really on Fashion Nova. So I've been like purchasing a lot of things with color in it, girl, color. I really turned into a different person once I got my hair to get, child. I really did. <laughs> I'm also mad because I feel like I didn't, I experimented with some heatless curls before my capsule wardrobe video. And I felt real cute while I was filming the video, but when I was editing it, I was like, my hair could look so much better. It's looking like I reverted back to doing my own hair. But I think I'm just trying to figure out how to maintain the look of it being done. I know you can't do that all the time. So, you know, I'm not trying to strive for perfection, but. I do want to improve, you know, how I'm maintaining it. Working on that, but I know it's not gonna always look that way. I'm very highly aware. But yeah, I did get a package from Fashion Nova, um, some colorful items. So we might do like a little haul, try on haul later on in the room because I do wanna try all that stuff on because I think some of it I wanna take with me this weekend. Last time we went to Denver, y'all, I was not vlogging purposefully. I went to Denver for my how old am I? 34. My 30, 33rd birthday with my ex-husband. And uh, let's just say I didn't, that was not the birthday trip I had in mind. That was more one of his favorite places versus mine. So I enjoyed a little bit of it, but not completely because it really was not a trip that was for me. Let's just say that. So I'm excited to go back to Denver. Um, that was my first time going and this will be my second time going. And this one, this time I'm really, really, really excited about just to be with my girlfriends from St. Louis. I'm just trying to look alive today, trying to look alive. This is my one size uh, trio. Okay, we looking alive, baby. We looking alive, looking flushed. Dior gets her stitches removed tomorrow. And also my mom will be here tomorrow because she's coming for the weekend to stay with Amira and Dior while I'm out of town. I'm so grateful for my mom because she does that for me whenever I have something going on. When I went to New York, she came and stayed in St. Louis. St. Louis. She came and stayed um, here in Atlanta to be with Amira. So I'm so grateful for her. Um, Y'all know my mom's a therapist, so she can work pretty much anywhere. She has her own practice, so. She comes whenever I need her and I'm so, so grateful for that. Cause Amir, you know, she could have spent the weekend with her father, but the issue is that I'm leaving during the school day and the dog <laughs> and she's still healing from her, um, her spay. So I, so it's too soon for boarding. So I didn't even think about that as an option for her for this weekend. We are about to put on something pretty chill. Y'all know for me chill, it's probably not that chill, but something chill for me. So I just wanna be super comfortable while I'm out today, getting my nails done, running some errands. Also, I need to get a few things for traveling as well. I am about to fight the urge to do a wing, not because, you know, of what I've been talking about. I just don't want a full finished look today. This is how we're looking. Let's go in the room and throw some clothes on so we can get up out of here. So I bought a few of these really cute, like, um, two-piece sets from my Fashion Nova. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it and see um, if I wanna wear one of those. They're like long sleeve with pants. Y'all Dior, she just wanna be getting in everything. Hey girlfriend, what's this? Those are pants. Mm, don't wanna move that is. We're gonna try all this stuff on later on, but you know. No Dior, no Dior work. You just want everything with your pretty self. Um, I might go for gray. I might just do gray. And this is just like a very casual, like two piece. I'm a medium in everything and I'm starting to fit my mediums even better now that I'm losing my weight. So this is already looking really cute. This is giving airport fit for Friday actually. So maybe I won't wear it today. Maybe I'll wait. Or maybe I'll wear it today and I'll wear it on Friday. Because please believe, I do not care. Okay, now we having some issues, child. I know I'm a little top heavy, so. Whew. 
might be a little tough to get into. Let's see. Let's see if we can pull it down. Oh, okay. Okay, it's a little, it's a little tight. It's all right. It's all right. Okay, this fits so much tighter than I was expecting it to. We might have to give this one a month or two before we really feel comfortable in it. But anyway, y'all, this is what it's looking like. Body looks good, but it is tight on um, on the top. But I feel like I could still wear it. I don't know. What y'all think? What we thinking? What we thinking? I don't feel like it looks too small. It just looks very fitted. It just looks very fitted, but the top feels a little bit too small and I'm trying to get away from still wearing things that feel that way. Cause I'll, it's not, but it's not uncomfortable. I do need to maneuver this arm. I think I might feel better once I twist this arm. Oh, I gotta twist it over. You know how the arm gets twisted and it's stuck on the other side so you feel a little, you know, but it's already starting to feel better now that I'm twisting this. Okay, feeling a little bit better. Let's do the other arm. That feels so much better. Um, it does show a little, a little titty, but I can move them over, you know, like that to where it looks, oh, this looks really cute. I love this. We wearing this right now. We wearing this today. This is cute. This is cute. This is cute. This is cute. Hey, 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 hey. I am gonna um definitely wear this to the airport. I'm gonna try on the other two that I have. I might wanna do the color instead, but we'll see. But I do really, really like this. We can step out in this today and they're flared. That's so cute. You see, they're flared. Amira loves flare pants. I love that about her. She has her own little style. We're about to get up out of here. Uh, let's get a fragrance. I have a smidge of some YSL Libre left. A smidge, literally. Do y'all see it down there in the bottom? We finna angle this the right way and use her up. I need to buy some more. This is actually one of my favorite perfumes. Oh, y'all, I didn't tell y'all. I'm a Sunny's girl now. Ah, who is she? I just did a whole Sunny's haul. Um, I do have um, another pair downstairs, but I literally, up until this point, own no sunglasses. Like none, like zero. I used to have like some real cheap ones, but I just never was the girl that had shades on. If you guys have watched me, when the last time you seen me when I put some shades on? I wait. But I splurged a little bit on Amazon and I was at Nordstrom Rack the other day and I got some. So these cute pink ones are from Givenchy. Hey, who is she? Who is she? Um, Amira and I are sharing these ones because she loves the pink um, ombre. So these are cute. Also got these, these are from Marza. And I got this from Nordstrom Rack as well. I don't know, I've always thought that my face looked weird with shades. I think that's why I haven't like gotten any and wore them. But now girl, she got her hair to get and I feel like I look great. <laughs> I also got a couple shades off Amazon or a few. One of them is downstairs. I'm probably gonna put those on while we're out. I got these ones. These are my favorite. These are my favorite. And honestly, also, I've been inspired by my friend Unique. She always has on these really cute shades. And they don't be like shades. They be like, some of them are like lighter, but she just wears it with her outfit. And I be like, girl. So, also inspired by my good sis. Hey sis. Because she be looking so cute. I was like, let me find out about these glasses. And then I got these, which are just like glasses glasses. They're not like actually shades. And I really, really love it. <laughs> now these, I feel like they made me look a little nerdy, but I feel like that's the look, you know? I feel like that's the look. Mm -hmm. I like it, I like it, I like it. But these are my favorite ones. The ones I got downstairs are more like a darker shade. So, but these are my favorite. Oh, we might wear these today. <laughs> who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Hey, who is she? I'm feeling good, baby. <laughs> okay, y'all. Um, we have our fragrance. We have on our earrings. I got these studs on and my uh, cuff from H&M. Um, this is also from H&M. You know, most of my jewelry is from H&M. I'm happy I've been sitting here for a little while to see if my titties was gonna fall out of this shirt, but I think we okay. 
I think we're okay. I think this looks good. Um, I feel really comfortable in this and I'm so happy y'all. This time, two weeks ago, I wouldn't have been able to fit this medium. I know I would not have, I know it. But now we can fit it and I'm feeling so good and so comfortable right now in my body, in my life. I'm just happy, child. I can't even lie to y'all. Um, I'm just really, really happy, so. Ooh, okay. I'm not gonna kill y'all with all the conversation right now. We can talk later. Cause some of y'all was like, my, you gotta tell us what that ghetto thing is that happened to you when you got out the Uber. I'll just throw it in here. I can't tell y'all because it's about somebody else that we no longer speak about. So yeah, let's just, let's just leave that there, girl. Let's go eat. Back up on my grizzly on my bar, yeah, yeah. Ask me how I'm doing, doing awesome, yeah, yeah. Fake to the G, that's why you lost him, uh, uh. If you come around, it's time it costs, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't trust nobody, no, we all fucked up. Mm. I don't trust nobody, only God I trust. Mm. Over traumatized, so the squad might bust. Probably got your body, then the squad locked up. Look, I've been in my head, I don't know which way to turn now. Thought it was forever, but relationships endure now. And I'm sick of trying, man, I start to feel the burnout. People come and go, that's a lesson that I learned now. Back up on my grizzly, on my bar. Yeah, yeah. Ask me how I'm doing, doing awesome. Yeah, yeah. Fake energy, that's why you lost him. Uh, uh. If you come around, this time it costs you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back up on my grizzly, on my bar. Yeah, yeah. Ask me how I'm doing, doing awesome. Yeah, yeah. Fake synergy, that's why you lost him. Uh, uh. If you come around, this time it costs you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, y'all. It is Thursday. Y'all, this vlog is very much. Oh, my brows look good. This is very much the most regular vlog I've done in a while. Nothing special going on this week. Just a bunch of life. So, we are about to get Dior to the, to the animal hospital so that she can get her stitches removed yesterday i ended up not vlogging anymore because child i had forgot i had a meeting with my manager as soon as i sat down to have my pedicure so i had to take the first part of the meeting while i was sitting there then i rushed home so i can get to my computer and that kind of cut what i had to do yesterday short and then i came home and i went to sleep y'all amira got home and we just kind of hung out on the couch all evening taking naps waking up got some food it was just a very chill night and I was exhausted from not sleeping much because of the capsule wardrobe video. So yeah, now here we are. We are about to head to take this baby and then I'm gonna bring her back home and I do have a few errands that I need to run. My mom's flight is delayed. Well, it's not delayed, she pushed it back. So she won't be here till late this evening, which though I'm excited to see my mom, that's good for me because I actually have to edit this video so I can have it done before I leave so that you guys can get this video on Sunday. <laughs> because if it doesn't get done, we gonna skip on Sunday and that ain't happening. Let me grab the baby. I just took her surgical garment off since she's pretty much healed. It is day 10, so let me grab her. Hey, you wanna go bye-bye with mommy? Yeah, pretty girl. All right, y'all. We're about to head out and get her stitches removed. I'm assuming that doesn't take too long. Hopefully it won't be painful for her. Anyway, child, we're about to go. What's up, y'all? So we are about to put together some flowers for my mom and some flowers for the island. Today, y'all, I wanted to vlog more, but it ended up being like a crazy mom day. My mama's, y'all know, it's a lot of stuff you gotta get done before you go out of town. So I had to go to the grocery store. I just got done like washing all my produce and making sure there's fruit in the refrigerator for Amira and my mom. I picked up some flowers, obviously for the home and I always get flowers from my mom and do like a bouquet in her guest room. I went to the grocery store, like I said, so I just got done uh, stacking up and refilling the pantry. I had to get gas, I had to get cash for my trip. I had to get some toiletries and travel size. Chad, we just had a lot to do. I'm gonna do these flowers real quick for my mom and for the kitchen because I just want Amira and my mom to like be super comfortable and feel like the home is pretty and smells good all weekend. <laughs> so I found this really, really, really pretty bouquet at um, Kroger. My mom loves like burnt orange and reds and stuff like that. So I figured this would be really pretty for spring for the guest room for her. I just saw one of you guys at Lowe's. I'm sorry, sis, I did not catch your name, but it was so funny because I was walking out of Lowe's, she was walking in and she stopped me. She said, wait a minute, I know you. 
And I was just smiling because I'm bigger, you know, probably from YouTube. And when she realized it, she was like, oh my God, you look so normal. <laughs> I was like, I am normal. That is so funny to me when girls say that when they see me. Because I'd be like, what do you mean? <laughs> Maybe y'all can enlighten us in the comment section. What does it mean when you see like someone who you see online and then you see them and be like, girl, you just look like a regular person. <laughs> I'm like, what do y'all be expecting to see? <laughs> anyway, y'all, I figured I'd just talk to you guys while I did this flower arrangement since I feel like this is gonna be a pretty short vlog, which is okay. But I was like, we can at least chat it up a little bit while I do these flowers. But y'all, I remember I had started dating and stuff. Yeah, we not doing it no more. Y'all, I am over. I am over it. I think I want this to be a high. Let me look to see what this looks like if I just put this all in here. I'm not gonna do it like this, but I'm gonna arrange it a little bit more, but I just wanted to see how high it was. See where I wanna cut it. Yeah, girl, it is, it is crazy out here. Here's my mindset of it now. I feel like I am literally let me check in for my flight. Hold up, y'all. Let me check in for my flight. Hey, 24 hours, I'm out of here. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see my friends. I've been missing my girlfriends so much. But yeah, y'all, so I feel like I have been changing a whole lot by the week, by the month right now. And I have just gotten to the point where I'm like, Lord, let your will be done. I want God, what God has for me. That is all that I want. So now I'm at the point where I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna chill out for a little bit and then just tell the Lord, like, if you want something to happen or you want me to meet someone or you want something like that to happen, then I'm open to it. But right now, I'm actually not interested. You know, I had this one situation happen with this guy that I met on Hinge. And since then I have stopped online dating. But y'all, this guy, we matched on Hinge or whatever. He was a gentleman. He seemed like a God-fearing man at the time when I was talking to him on Hinge, right? And we ended up exchanging numbers, which was, I think a little bit premature in hindsight. I was like, yeah, I, don't, I should not have given this man my number. But anyway, I did. So let's just say he was blocked within an hour of me giving him my number. So we started texting or whatever, everything was fine until he was like trying to make me laugh or whatever. I was like, oh, you're making me blush or whatever. And he was like, oh, that's part of the job, right? So we started to like banter a little bit about, you know, it being a job for him to like make me laugh and make me blush. He started the joke, so I ran with it, right? I didn't screenshot the entire conversation, but I said something to the odds of, it depends on the amount of work you put in or something like that which went with the conversation. You know what I'm saying? It went with what we were talking about. And his response was, I said, pursue you, not jump through hoops. And I was like, what? I should have just um, tapped out at that point and just blocked him. I was like, I didn't say anything about jumping through hoops. What are you talking about? He was like, well, you talking about, depending on the work we had to go through. I said, that was part of the conversation we were having about this being a job title type of joke and you working towards it or whatever. And anyway, child, but that just told me so, so much that he saw an issue like with that and was like, I'm not about to jump through hoops, sir. What are you talking about? I was not feeling the vibes at that point. Then I asked the dude, I said, what do you do, right? He kept ignoring the question. I asked at least three times during this text conversation, which was within about three hours of me giving him my number. And he never answered it. And after this thing happened, I was like, let me ask him again, just cause I'm curious at this point, like why are you not answering the question? So I asked him again and I was wondering, I'm like, how do you and why do you keep ignoring this question? But he said something on the lines of logistics, something, point is girl, I think the man like is a, you know, like Amazon warehouse worker or something like that. He tried to like romanticize his life with his description of his job. And I was just like, oh, okay. And I already was not feeling the vibes. So after that, I was just like, I am not really feeling the vibes here. So it was really nice to meet you. Good luck on your dating journey. And I'm gonna throw the screenshot right here so y'all can see what his response was. I blocked him as soon as I read that message. And girl, I was like, are you kidding me? And I asked Unique, I was like, what are those 
those emojis mean? Like, are you trying to say that I'm gonna die alone? Or is that a threat? Girl, that, that turned me off so much. Cause I'm like, bruh, these men cannot take rejection. And it's so sad, but it's also so scary. After he sent that, I was nervous because I didn't like those emojis, like a death emoji, sir. I'm telling you, I was paranoid. Like it scared me. And so I, that really turned me off. Like it really, really turned me off. And that's not the only thing, but since then y'all, I've just been like, Jesus, don't take me, take me out the game. Like put me in front of who you want me to be with eventually or whenever your timing is. Me personally, I would like that to be no time soon. But I'm trying not to say things like that because I really want God to do his thing in my life without me, you know, inserting my will in what I would like to happen. I was telling one of my girlfriends, I was like, girl, I'm a little traumatized because before I had the mindset of, you know, it's cool. Things move fast. That's what happens. People have success with that. It's fine. But now that I've gone through a bad situation with that, I'm like traumatized. So I'm like, if God has something for me and it moves quickly, I'm going to be like, Jesus, um, let's slow down here. But I want what God has for me. So I told her, I am hoping and praying that that's not part of my story moving forward, like something that fast and quick. Because, child, I'm traumatized. Though I know it could work out, baby, I am not trying to be no man and him trying to, like, put no ring on my finger in no six months. Now, I could be putting my foot in my mouth, you know, because I want what God has for me. However, I'm just speaking from my flesh and from my human experience, child, I am traumatized, okay? Please, no. If it went my way, we gonna be talking or in a relationship without being engaged for over a year, maybe even two. Like that's where I'm at right now, but I know that, like I said, I'm traumatized. Things can change, my opinion also can change. I just kind of be like talking to y'all about the real, kind of how I be processing things. And not that I'm not open, I am open. So like if God wants me to meet someone and he places something in front of me and, and you know, I meet somebody out and it seems cool, then yeah, let's talk. But I'm like, child, look, if it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. That's where I'm at right now. Cause I'm spending a lot of time with myself and continuing to learn me and do my own thing for myself and my daughter. So yeah, that's where we are with that whole topic right now so I'm about to finish up this um bouquet real quick and then we're gonna go upstairs because I still haven't tried on that fashion over order that I told y'all I was gonna try it on and uh, it's about time for me to pack I'm gonna go upstairs we'll try that on and then we'll um I'll probably start packing after that love interrupted by tragedy lost in the drought see if we like her so this one already is fitting a whole lot better than the other one was that one is just so tight okay this is cute this is really cute i don't know why i feel like i'm in the 70s with this one though doesn't it give 70s vibes i think it's the big collar i don't know but i like this this is really cute everything i got is in the medium and girl i actually really really like this it's definitely giving an old school 70s vibe with the style of it because it comes down like to a point here and the loose sleeves and the 
collar. This is so cute. Maybe we'll wear this to the airport. Child, me in this airport outfit. I'm like, I'm gonna look cute going to the airport. But yeah, since it's cute, I will make sure that I link everything um, that I purchased on the description box. This is outfit, I'm gonna say number two since we had that gray one on yesterday. Okay, so I think the issue with that outfit yesterday was the bra I had on because it was giving very tight and now that I have on a thinner bra right now these are fitting a whole lot better so I'm thinking that might have been the issue but this is the same fit as yesterday that gray one but in this like purple color and one thing I love about these sets is that I can wear this top with some jeans you know what I'm saying like I can wear it as a set but I also can mix and match it I don't know if I would wear the bottoms with something else besides the top you know but I think these are some really cute like throw on go to the store but still looking cute type of two-piece sets and they don't get athletic so you can do like a two-piece set that is not giving like you're going to the gym or yoga you know what i'm saying so i think that this is so cute so this is outfit number three casual but got a little color in it <laughs> i don't know what's got into me Okay, so this next one is a dress, y'all. You got it. I feel like my makeup needs to be done to get the full vibe of this. Y'all, this is cute. This is a little sweater dress. And it actually reminds me of that green dress that my girl had on that I keep talking about. That one is sold out. But I, when I saw this one, I was like, that might be cute. It comes in a neutral color too. And I was gonna do that, but I was like, Maya, right now you're not playing it safe. You're doing different things. So... I feel like this is cute, girl. I can't wait to bust this out. This is probably like a influencer event type dress, I'm thinking, because it is like a show, show-stopping dress. Or even brunch. We could do this for brunch if we really like, you know, dressed it up. I feel like I would have to wear it soon, though, because it is sweater. It's a sweater dress, so it is a very thick, like, sweater material. But, girl, this is cute. You know what I'm saying? This is really, really pretty. So the next ones are three tops, but then one pair of pants. So I'm gonna try on all three tops with these pants, but y'all, these pants though, all right, put them on. They look so good. Why is this head hold so small? Uh, like, man, this is making me nervous. Will we be able to get out of this is the question. I should have got this top in a large, only for this version of my body right now. 100% um, should have got a large, but, Super cute. I feel like I'm being strangled by the neck. But y'all, these pants though, these pants though. And the shirt is super cute. I love how it's asymmetrical. And then I love that it has the thumb holes too. I love that. And I feel really cute in this. The shirt is just a little bit tight, but these pants though, these pants are gorgeous. I might take these this weekend because this will give a really cute, like, casual vibe during the day and then just pop on some heels, you know what I'm saying, for nighttime. This might be my Saturday outfit. Maybe not with the top, but definitely, definitely the pants. Now let's try to get about this shirt. So obviously, the last outfit was very neutral because neutral is my thing. Like, I love a neutral fit. But in addition to like adding some color to my wardrobe right now, I'm also trying to add some interest to my more neutral pieces too. Because lately when I've had things to do, I just have been feeling like I don't have anything to freaking wear. And though I love my neutrals, I've been wanting to do some neutrals that are more interesting or have a little bit more of a, well, what's the word I'm looking for? Just more unique pieces. That way I feel like I have something to wear more often than just my normal smegular stuff that I wear every day. So like the style of these pants, even though they're neutral, adds something. Or the style of the top that I just had on adds something. That's what I mean by that. All right, so this is a bodysuit, green bodysuit, really cute. Looks good with the pants as well. Would need to wear a strapless bra with this, but this is cute. Very, very cute. Now, fashion now we got some really cute stuff. Like, they might not be super crazy good quality to last a long time, but I have a lot of stuff from Fashion Nova that I've had for years, so I ain't even gonna, I ain't even gonna play Fashion Nova like that. But yeah, this is this bodysuit. I think it's really cute. All right, so this last top is very, very cute. Um, I might end up taking this whole outfit. Devin is having a birthday dinner on Saturday night, 
and she wants everyone in neutrals like browns and blacks so this shirt might make the cut i think this is cute it is not a bodysuit it is just a shirt that has like this detail on the shoulder i think this is really pretty very 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 cute this is everything that we purchased i'm about to go and get this video edited for you guys um before my mother gets here that way i can enjoy her when she comes and we can stay on schedule so i love you guys and i'm gonna see y'all on the next vlog which i'm about to start right now because i'm gonna start packing so see y'all next week